So um, on this today's episode, what I'm going to do is I wanted to, I usually do water changes with brute containers. You see this one, 40 gallon. I usually do a 40 gallon water change, 20% of my tank water. I usually use the brute. So what I usually do is make up 40 gallons of new water. I take 40 gallons of old water in my tank. But this one here is I measure because it fills the 40 gallon other brute container up. But what I'm going to do is make it easier for myself to empty this container by adding a bulkhead right here. I'm going to mount it right in here. And then I'm going to put a valve on it. So I'm going to show you guys how to my brute uh, 40 gallon right here. So I'm going to add this bulkhead and then we're going to add a valve. But I'm going to show you guys how to, how to cut this in and make your water changes a lot easier. So we're going to take a marker and we're going to mark the center. So I'm just going to jab this in the middle here. This, this is where I want to mount it. So this will make my dot. So that's where I, right now, it's where I'm going to have to drill my hole. We've got, mark. We've got the bulkhead. So we're going to drill our hole the right size of the diameter to add this. So what we need next is, I got my drill and I got a step up bit for, it's usually for metal, but we can use it for plastic. So I'm going to line up my dot right there. So we're going to drill that out. Just give me one minute. So I got my hole drilled. So let's going to see, see if this uh, bulkhead will fit. There we go. Look at that. Perfect. So always remember to keep your seal on the inside. So I'm going to show you the next part, what we're going to do here. So yeah, that's a perfect fit. So I end up just using the drill and a step up bit. You can usually get these at Princess Auto. So each step is different size, you know what I mean? So, so I got that in there now. So I'm going to show you how to tighten this up. Got the bulkhead uh, drilled in. I got the hole done. I'm going to show you guys uh, how to install it, tighten it up. So it doesn't There's the bulkhead installed. So I'm just going to put the nut on it. So this one here is a uh, reverse thread. I'm going to try to pull the other side with my foot. There we go. And remember this is... Now guys, I just tightened it up with my channel locks here. So this one's reverse thread, so you're going to want to go in reverse. So I got that tight enough to go. So now we're going to go to the next part. Root the container, 40 gallons. So now we just put the bulkhead in it right here. So. Now I just got to put a valve onto it, a shut off valve, so when I empty my the dirty water out of my tank for my change, I can just turn that spout and it can go right to the sump. The house. So the next step we're going to do is we're going to take some Teflon tape here and we got to put it around the threads so it makes it so the water doesn't leak around the threads. And you want to do that in reverse. So instead of going the opposite, you're going to want to go in reverse of the threads. So when you tighten it on, it works with it. So you just, you just wrap it around your threads. Keep it tight and get it right in the grooves. Make sure you keep this open. All right, so there you go. Just give it a couple spins there. So there's step one. So the next step, if we can see here. There, we can see it. All right, so here we go. So we have this. So we're gonna take the threaded end and we're gonna thread it in to the bulkhead, just like so. Tighten her up. What a tight fit. So there we go, so that's in. So the next step, I'll just set this back. I have, so that was a three quarter adapter. So what I did is I got a three quarter um, adapter. So it goes from three quarter down to a half inch, a half inch pipe for the valve. I have the valve here. So I just cut this up, I pre-did it. So this is just a ball valve. So you can see in the middle, you turn it, so it's closed, you turn it, it's open. So what we're gonna do is this one here. So it goes from three quarter down to half inch. So it'll fit the half inch pipe. So the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna get some glue, get some glue here. And we're gonna glue the end of this. So we glue this up, see? Go around it quite a bit. Next, we're gonna shove it into the three quarter. We need to reduce the size to half inch. So, so I just shoved it in, reduce it down to half inch so it's tight now. I don't have a rag here but just clean it up. It's just going to drip there a bit. So after we do that, next we'll take the, the ball valve I cut and we're going to glue that and so like this. See? So now when I have, when I do my water change and all the dirty water's in here and I want to get it out and down to the, the sump of the house, I can just open this valve for the pump. Just put a pipe on here and it can travel down there so it makes my water changes a lot easier. So that'll be the next step. We'll glue that in. We'll have to put, remember to put uh, PVC primer on here. So next thing we're going to glue this up.
So we're going to glue that up with the PVC glue. All right, guys. Now we're going we're gonna to take this and we're going to insert it so it's good and tight. There we go, lever straight. Now we're just gonna let that dry so you can see from your side view. So now we got a Brute 40 gallon for my water changes can make things a lot easier with a ball valve here. And I, I can put another adapter, put a pipe to run across to the floor over to the sump in my house. I live in the country so I have a sump at the corner of my house where the water actually comes into my basement and there's a sump pump and I can pump that right outside into the field. So there we go, we're gonna let that dry up and then I'll show you guys how it's gonna work. So that's how you take a 40 gallon brute container uh, and put a, a ball valve in it for your water changes and it works a lot easier. All right guys, so that's how you install, install a, a, ball, a ball valve into a brute. So anybody can do it, it's gonna be a lot handier. So if you guys like this episode, uh, please subscribe, hit the like button and any comments, you want any advice or anything, just hit me up guys. Um, so the next thing I'm doing, I got to finish off my sump uh, contest for Willie D over there. You guys should check that out. That'll be the next thing. So pretty easy. A couple tools to do it up. You're good to go. Thanks for watching, guys.